What feels like a hundred years ago, I released square gapping, a novel technique to create pixel gaps. What I didn't do is actually show you how to use it. So for this Christmas, I'm going to. Eh, kinda. What I'm not gonna do is spoon feed how to build a base with it since I don't want to contribute to the epidemic of people using pixel gaps with no understanding of how they work. First, a tip. Use ice lakes for square gaps. They're perfectly flat, so you don't need a platform to gap from. I'm not going to use fins or heavy plate for this demonstration. If you're not using gear to slow yourself down, it's trickier to get the orientation to change, but not impossible. I'm going to show you that the gap will still be created, assuming you're careful. Barring extreme precision, it takes three squares to generate a disconnected gap. Until you're confident in your technique, verify the disconnect works. Two frames will support two square floors, so if the last foundation isn't disconnected from the first, this other frame will hold up that third floor, telling us we failed. In order to quickly go from the square gap to your footprint, you'll usually need to replace foundations. Since square gaps reduce all different offsets, each of these squares is a different gap. You need to keep track of what is connecting to what. Let's keep that in mind by going over some failure points as I build. Which foundation is this triangle connected to? What about this square? Which socket was this floor placed on? The floor should have collapsed when the frame was removed, so we can see that we failed. What went wrong? If you already know, you didn't need to watch this video in the first place. Go be smug in the comments. For the rest of us, let's do some troubleshooting. The most likely culprit is the floor socket, so block off the sockets you don't want used and try again. Okay, so that's not it. It must be the wall frame, which in turn means we connected the square foundation to the triangle instead of its parent with the correct offset. You can tell which block something was connected to by observing the orientation of its texture. In the case of square wood foundations, you're looking for this. However, you should get used to the visual of twig, an exercise which I'll leave to you. Anyway, that's it for this video. As always, have a wonderful day.